The defendant's case in chief arguments ended with Guam Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division Detective Eric Mandia's testimony. He assisted in the July 28, 2019 homicide of Keith Castro investigation. Defense counsel Tom Fisher questioned Mandia's interview with defense witness Heather Fulcher Castro. She was kind of uh, shook up, um, overly excited, uh, worried at the same time. Did uh, Ms. Castro state to you that she may have been the reason the shooting happened? That is correct. Uh, so did Ms. Castro state to you that Keith Castro had made many enemies like Layton, Cisco, Johnny Rosario, and Troy Torres? Yes, that is what she believed. As stated in court, Heather and Keith were not related and were good friends. She arrived at the scene after he was shot to his death. Joshua Palacios is the alleged gunman accused for the deadly shooting of Castro. However, the defense continues to argue he was framed for the crime. Meanwhile, Assistant Attorney General Rochelle Canto aims to prove the defendant is guilty for the offense. I just have a couple questions for you about this interview with Ms. Castro. Sure. Uh, when she said to you that she may have been the reason for the shooting, did, did she elaborate or did you find out what else about that statement? Anything else about that statement? No, she was just, she was just uh, stating it as, as, as a feeling at that point in time. Okay, so uh, it was due just... Due to uh, her prior history. I see. So she was speculating at that point? I believe so. And uh, there was a statement about many enemies and certain names being named. Were any of those people that she named at the scene at the time of Keith Tesser's death? Um, no. Not uh, Leighton Borja, uh, Johnny Rosario, or Troy Torres. The defense had subpoenaed Johnny Rosario and Troy Torres to testify, although both invoked their Fifth Amendment rights. As we reported, co-character in the case Thomas Titano's testimony revealed he went to the Jigo residence that evening to confront Castro for talking about his family, that being sister-in-law Johnny Rosario and brother Josh Titano, on social media. Borja's connection to the case remains unknown. Titano has since pled guilty to aggravated assault charges for his role in the crime. In court today, Attorney Fisher called up eyewitness from the night of the shooting, Melvin Leon Guerrero. He testified that he heard Castro's final words. Did you approach Keith uh, that evening after he was in Oh, uh, yeah, right before he, I mean, he told me his last words. Okay. And so you did approach him? Yes. Sir, uh, I agree. Sir. He kind of like, well, I was the closest one to him, so you know, he reached out to me and to grab my hand. Or, these testimonies concluded the evidence portion of Palacios' trial. Closing statements are scheduled to occur Friday morning in Judge Vern Perez's courtroom.